honestly a really really cool band uh they have all sorts of really great songs if all you know from them is their song kids then i highly recommend you actually give them a very serious you know look uh one thing that was really cool is that they uh actually ended up they abandoned their record label and whatnot to be able to make music that they wanted to make they didn't want the restrictions or the uh, constraints to appeal to the mass markets they wanted to make music they wanted to do so they did that and it's 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 still they came out with such bangers you know really really cool um so yeah if all you know from them is uh kids which is one of their most famous songs um then definitely i recommend go check out some of their stuff uh, so I am heating up some apple cider, uh, and the plan is, it is a snowy November evening here. The plan is f to play some control and just kind of chill. Now, it's been a little bit since I've played. Um, uh, it's been a few weeks. I've been kind of busy with work and whatnot, so, you know, no shock there that I haven't had time or the ability to... If you give me a second here, I'm going to plug in my headphones. All right, hopefully that didn't start hissing. All righty. So yeah, the uh, like I said, the plan is to play some more control. Uh, just going to have some fun, and we're just going to go for it. Uh, in a little bit, I will be dipping to go grab my cider because like i said it is currently warming up on the stove and i don't want it to burn but yeah it's gonna be a good night we're gonna just chill we're gonna play some video games we might get a little bit handsy yeah yeah i don't really remember the controls and that's kind of a problem isn't it in general Okay, so... Okay. Okay, that changes weapon, like, shape. R was that. Okay, so F to change the weapon type. And also to activate the control point. Okay, very cool, very cool. Can I make anything oh oh it does take quite a lot energy boost interesting oh oh Energy recovery, very cool, very cool. Uh, it's not as helpful. All right, so let's see. Speed. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> I should have done that instead. Can I, can I like, nah, I just saved. Dang it. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, hang on. So, just trying to remember the controls. Here we go, loadout. Mods, oh my goodness. I'm just getting rid of the ones that are worse, you know. What do I have right now? Just... That's the only one I have right now? Oh, goodness. Okay, hang on. So, 20%. That's 24, so I'll scrap that. Uh, oh, that's plus health just straight up.
energy recovery. Oh, but you can only have one active at a time. And besides, that one's much better anyway. Um, I need that because I'm bad. Spin! Oh, goodness. Rate of fire. Oh, wow. Exclusive to... Th well, that's all of them, isn't it? Headshot damage. Oh, damn. Oh, that's reload speed. Whoops. I need... See, I want to keep that. Alright, give me a second to go check on my cider. I'll be right back. <laughs> Timing was perfect. It was just about to start to boil. So I got it just in time. So anyway, let's continue looking at some of these mods here. So, um, okay. Ammo refund chance. So we scrap that one. Oh my goodness. I haven't been doing any of this. Speen! Okay, that's 16%. I feel like that would be a smarter one to use on that. Oh, but then that's a damage boost. Oh my goodness. All right, 15%. Oh, wow. Consecutive kills. Oh my goodness. So I can only have two equipped at once. Oops. I, I need to be able to, uh, like, have a fucking... I need to be able to have a third slot. I also wish I had noticed that. That's really, really annoying. I would have done that. Like, dang it. I also have no idea what I'm doing. Find Marshall. Okay. And... Oh, that's nice. Does it actually go through, though? It does not. We 
Which is a little bit of a bummer. No, I'm sure there's no enemies. Somebody heard me. It's fine. Alright, so what is this? What do you mean they have families? No, they don't. Well, not anymore. Oh well. Whoops. Fuck. Uh, here we go. Ooh, here we go. The hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable, eh, notable, notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. They've displayed no aggr aggressive behavior. They just keep talking. They're Wi-Fi boosters. I thought I had like a float. Do I not have like a float ability? Like I thought I could just... Maybe I'm just confusing it because of that. I think I'm just confused. Well, they had a family. What is this? Go to the mail room? Okay, let me fast travel. Where is the mail room? Here we go. This is gonna be some shit here, isn't it? And I'm gonna get my ass absolutely handed to me. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Shift to sprint? That makes sense. I think there was a, like, a cover mechanic as well. Like, I think it was control. To, like, take cover behind, like, concrete stuff. I think so. I just remember it was a very fun game. Alright, what's up? Oh, those are good guys. Yeah. Oof. Uh, I might have just hurt a bunch of my own dudes. Ow. Failed. Really? That quickly? Oh man. Tea time. Oh brother. Wow, I just instantly fucking failed it. Well done. I showed up and just... Wait a minute. That sounds like the... Like there's something for me to do or interact with. Kind of twinkle. Is there something up there? Can I even get up there? Uh, he's got the personal protective device, but he's dead. That's an issue. 
moving to America overnight. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Okay, so that's also interesting that I can actually go back to places that I've already been. What? Strong fucking bottle. Oh, I was like, I hear somebody fucking talking. So, I guess I go here. The cider is way too hot. It'll be good, but like it's too hot right now. Yeah. Don't mind me. Okay, so this is the correct spot, so that's good. Yeah, I remember fighting a bunch of bullshit through there. Oh, that's cool. Oh! hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed. That seems like a bit of an issue. Okay, so that's the entity. I think it has detected me. I can't believe they keep that thing here. There's no way. Am I supposed to go in there? Oh, goodness. Well... <sighs> yep. 
You guys ready to watch how I die? That didn't actually seal there, friendo. Oh, I've made a mistake. Is it possible to kill this thing? I don't know if it is. Is it even possible to kill this thing? I don't know that it is. What did I just do? I, I hit a button and they went man. Uh oh <coughs> It's getting angry Okay, what what am, what am I what am I doing what am I supposed to do I don't understand I'm tempted to look up like a fucking walkthrough or something. So I can learn what I'm supposed to be doing? What exactly is the goal here? Okay, there's a pyramid. Uh oh. I have to close all the doors, don't I? Slow it down or what? What am I doing here? Uh. 
I don't understand. Fucking hell. What am I supposed to do with this thing? It just hurts. I think I get it. I think I'm supposed to trap it in that room? In this room? I think so? supposed to trap it in here. What the fuck? I I have to look it up. I I genuinely have enough fucking clue. I really have no fucking clue. All right, control, um, where am I? Uh, old boys club. Entity, I guess. Get past the extra dimensional. Okay, it's called an astral spike. It is to trap it in the room. Oh, I have to power the fucking door. That's what I'm doing wrong. I'm not fucking powering the door. Now I feel dumb. The solution is actually quite simple. Alrighty, so... Don't mind me, just get the fuck out! Where's that other one? Yes. What was the bureau doing with that thing? Ah. Oh. See, and that's the thing. A lot of times with uh, video game, whoops, I just all tabs. Uh, a lot of times with video games, like the solution isn't hard. It's just I'm missing one really Someone basic answer, thing. Damn it. We need backup down here. Marshall, Ooh. are you still there? Shit, we're so close. Your phone, who does?
Don't mind me. I'm just drinking cider. Yeah, there's gonna be a battle down here. Hiss clusters. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of bad guys here. Oh, fucking cock. Fuck off! Ow, fuck off! Oh. Oh, damn it. That's bullshit. Especially because I'm pretty sure it's going to throw me all the way back to the old control point. This game is not very forgiving when it comes to checkpoints. That's one thing I've noticed. Like, the combat is difficult, but the checkpoints are just brutal, man. Yep. It's like I said. I already watched that. Alright, good. That's already trapped. So at least it saved my progress there. This fucking grenade! that I remembered there in time that I have a uh, a melee also if anyone is here for my markmanship you're gonna be very disappointed Oh, 
activated. I need like a mini map. Oh, more dudes just spawned up there. I can't tell if dude spawned behind me, right? Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. Come on, shithead. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, control point. Nice. That was a pretty decent battle, actually. I don't know if I'm getting better or if that was just an easy one. I feel like it was just an easy one. It also helps when the space is big and open. Six ritual impulses. Captive audience. Investigate the X ray light bot object of power. Group think. This study extends the works of Irvin Giannis. Robert Barron and others by proposing strong causal links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's uh, original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. See experiments blank for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in blank. Damn, I feel like that would be really helpful information for me to have at this time. Anyway. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of blank and blank. Hmm. I feel like that uh, research would be really useful for me at this time. Alright, so... The X-ray light box... And where would one go to find such a thing? I suppose the hypnosis lab, which is this way. Very cool. Let me make sure I've picked up all the little collectibles first. Alrighty. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. One, ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in their chair. Two, ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the record process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. Well, I'll bet. Three, check if the volunteer is comfortable. Four, activate the recording apparatus. Five, after recording is complete, Check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. 
Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral light dilation is a known issue. Any problems arise during this process, pl please contact your supervisor. See, I kind of wish I had like a double jump. Oh, there is a mantle. I'm going to get like a bad ending because of all the uh, innocent people I've killed. Remarkable that it held out that long. Alright, well, let's go into the uh, hypnosis lab. Sure fucking can. Should I? Oh, well, they spit out health like enemies do, so... Yeah, they've got the fucked up faces, so... Does this keep your... distance from the glass? It's just a box. Incredible. This is a fun game. Well, that was interesting. I pulled it from inside the, um... Uh. Um... Sorry, I'm just... Kinda weird, isn't it? Like, staticky. I don't know, it is kind of weird, isn't it? You kind of do want to look at it. I don't know. I thought I saw an interactable- here we go. Oh, brother. What? What am I not getting here? I 
Oh, I want a, uh, an office of control mug. Okay, there's gotta be like a solution posted somewhere. Gotta be a solution proceeds to fucking shoot everything. Shoot them. What a noise that thing makes. That's pretty cool. Alright, there's gotta be like a cl oh wait. Ah, okay, so I need to do that. Okay, so if I... Right? That's what the image is. Right? Oh, not quite. It's, um... Uh... There we go. What did I just unlock? Oh, what's this? Ooh. Oh, guys, loot box. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's what I unlocked. This is the door for the thing. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astral Mark, First Class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. <coughs> and you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Uh... Sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone stand. It's kind of tilting a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's got like preset notches? Yeah, it does. Okay, so there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Alright, well. That's alright. It still works. Hello! It's a big pyramid, holy shit! Enemies at low health can be seized? Explore other parts. Oh, that makes sense. 
Find another way to defeat this enemy. Um, there aren't any more bad guys. Wait. They can do damage. Whoops. Wait, is that the gold guy? It sure fucking is. Alright, go get him. meld you or whatever whatever the fuck is going on here okay so it looks like I can only have so many active at once I guess it makes sense Get him! Oh fucking you! Nice. So exploring these little side things is clearly how you get like all these additional powers. Which also makes me wonder if I've missed some. I bet I have. Oh, where's my control point? Uh, let's see. Urgent, Dr. Darling. Yes, last night I had a dream. In the dream, I was given the solution to a staffing problem I'd presented, been presented with just yesterday. The problem is of a confidential nature and must therefore remain unclarified here, but I can assure you that the method through which I received this helpful information was undeniably paranatural. I can only draw the conclusion that I possess exceptional precognitive abilities and, as such, offer my services to the Bureau's research teams. We must utilize my powers for the greater good, signed Mr. Francis Bertram. Okay. I thought there was a button to like do something funny as you were landing. Not funny per se, like not ha ha ha, but like just do something interesting. Abilities! Whoa! Oh, I've like leveled up or something. Fucking nice! Ha ha ha! Yeah. 
Oh, what's this? C's duration. Oh. Okay, so all this. So I have clearly missed some stuff here. Oh, and I've got three upgrade points. So I need to find... Uh, I could do that, and I could do that. I think that would be wise. What? Oh, okay. I got it. Wait. I've unlocked an additional... Oh, hell yeah. Um... Where do I... Abilities? No, wait. Personal mod slot. How do I do that? Where do I do that? How do I how do I equip a personal mod? I don't How do I do that? Is it Ah, here we go. Loadouts duh. Alrighty, evade energy cost, uh, energy boost, that's lower. Health boost would be good. Because I don't really struggle with my energy. Yeah, I don't really struggle with the energy at all, but I do die a lot. <laughs> I feel like this one might be a good idea. I'm gonna go... Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm gonna go with this for now. Marshall. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. More of you? Really? Yes! Nice! So what happens when they, uh, run out of time or whatever? They just die? Yep! Nice! Convenient. All right, let me like save. This is the control point. Well, let me let me like uh, let me look at like going back a bit here. So there's central executive dead letters. Let's let's go back to uh, let's go back to like the uh, maintenance area. Or is that even going to help me or no? I should probably just look up. Well, I don't want to spoil it. Like, not just outright. But it would also help give me some more, like, uh, 
supplies or materials, whatever, for upgrades. Does it actually matter? Yanitor. It is Yanitor. Where is Mr. Yanitor? Oh, there he is. Hey, I was right. He is finished. Right. See, that's why I knew he was finished. Because right there, that. So I don't think there's anything for me to do here. That was cool. Uh, so I'm going to look at fast traveling to... I'm actually going to do that. Central Executive. I think that's like the central main hub one. Then the Bureau's number of combat staff just became our biggest liability. You fucking think? Trust me, I'm well aware. I hope the survivors of research will see a solution for this. Alright, let's see if she has anything to talk about. Hi, Jesse. <clears throat> uh, sure. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting <clears throat> room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. It was a tiger shark, Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. Uh, how, how big sharks are? Work here? You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before, and studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? 
We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? <laughs> what, uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? No, not that I've ever heard of. Why? <laughs> have I got some stuff because to tell you about? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. Oh, brother. Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. You know, it's just... I opened my window wow. to get some fresh I, air in here. This blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. Hmm. Whoops. What can you tell me about control points? I skip points? this? Well, I don't. Wait, I mean, no. What? Oh my. Okay, right. I love it. There we go. See you soon. Be careful out there. No, I won't be. But to codify the his genetic sequence using real to real technology. Christ. Um. So I guess back to parapsychology? Yes, parapsychology. Before I go down there... Isn't this where I came in? Yeah, it is. Oh, right, I had to loop all the way around, didn't I? Yeah, now I remember. Okay. Trench said his team knows all the Bureau's secrets, Marshall especially. Does she know what happened to Dylan? Can they explain what's happening to your jacket? Welcome to the party, ma'am. Marshall is right down the hall. Oh, they have the personal protective devices. So when I was down there fighting and shooting and blowing shit up, they could have been helping. And they very much chose not to. Y'all got some fucking explaining to do. Also now it's just shitting control points all over the point. All over the place. I don't think I can do anything yet. I mean, I can...
Whoops. Um. Uh, hang on. And then I gotta go to... It's a little clunky sometimes. Well, it... It's the same. Well, that's some shit right there. Something just went thunk. <laughs> They're all just chill. They're like, yeah, no, it's fine. Are these ones okay? Wait, what? Oh. There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. It makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Since she's Here's been around for a while. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Oh, cool. I mean, the whole rest of the building's already fucked. Yeah, this place almost invites an ambush. Guess we never thought we'd be fighting on our own turf. Seriously, I've been in threshold safer than this. Man, the hiss sort of turned the house into a threshold, huh? Okay. Okay, I think it's supposed to face up because, like, you're supposed to. Yeah, see, it's the idea is that it like fills with luck or whatever. Last anyone heard, he was taking a security team into containment. The reason is currently unknown. I think I know the reason. <laughs> okay. If there's anything in this place that can improve our luck, we ought to try it out. You know, just in case. Do not touch anything. <coughs> oh, lame. Okay. I see rangers over there. We have to help them. I can't tell who's on whose side. Yeah, you're you're about to be on my side. And 
you're about to be on my side too. Please don't kill my, like, mind-controlled allies. Cool, they don't. Control point? What's wrong with the control point? There we go. Ah, uh, that's a problem. We go yeah fuck you wait there's more bad guys Sunday Sunday fucking wrecked <laughs> I just obliterated that dude Damn, he didn't stand a fucking chance. All right, now can I claim the control point? Ah, yes. Very nice. And then we gotta go to loadouts. Oh, is this dodge? Yeah, never mind the fact I don't use any of it. Okay, damage while low on health. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Projectiles fired, that's cool.
Oh, is that like while aiming? So I'm guessing as opposed to, uh... Oh, I don't know. All right, interesting. I want to see about what's over here. An elevator. Interesting. That was not what I was expecting to find. This is new. <laughs> Excuse me. The Hiss Warped yield only paranatural abilities, similar to drifters. They are able to telekinetically shield themselves with nearby material and launch objects at their target. These entities are particularly destructive and difficult to kill, possibly indicating a greater internal reinforcement of Hiss resonance. Why do certain Hiss display paranatural abilities while others rely on Bureau firearms? Do certain corrupted entities have less potential than the hosts that become Hiss warped? Or is this perhaps an indication of evolution or maturation of the Hiss corruption? Are there other stages of evolution yet to be found? What if the Hiss inhabits a host for a month, a year? Do hosts expire after a certain amount of time? Does the corruption become too strong for the organic body to endure? Only time and well-documented observation will tell. Alrighty, um... I'm actually gonna go ahead and call it good for now from there, just because I'm getting kind of tired. Um, had a couple of long days here. Um, but it is still fun. Oh, I got three achievements. Cool. Um, but yeah, as you guys can tell, as, uh, unfortunately as ever, I don't really know when I'm going to stream next because I don't really know what my, uh, what life is going to look like. You know, I don't know what my availability from work is going to be like. I don't know. Uh, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be going traveling or not. I, I don't know. I just don't know yet. You know, um, there's so many variables that are just kind of beyond anything that I'm, I don't know, that I can, beyond what I can typically anticipate, I suppose. So I just kind of stream when I feel like it and when I have time. So when those two things overlap, then you guys know where to find me. So for now, as always, thank you for watching. Sorry for your suffering. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.